You're watching News 8. I'm excited to welcome back to the program uh, Bill Valavanis, the organizer for the U.S. National Bonsai Exhibition, and Ron Maggio, who is, among other things, an exhibitor at uh, this year's exhibition. Great to have you both in studio. Great Thank to you. be back. Thank you. Bill, uh, you do this every other year, uh, and this has become a really big deal. We call it the National Bonsai Exhibition for good reason. You're drawing people from all over the country, and not just that, all over the world. Yes, this year we have people coming from India, China, Australia, Japan, South America, um, South Africa, Europe, and uh, Canada. Italy, and Canada, and Mexico, too. And right around the corner, people in, in Rochester can come on by and check it out as well. Saturday and Sunday, Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. Bill, we've got some, some examples of what folks will see uh, when they head over to the TSC. Let's talk about what we've got here in studio. Okay. The forest is a dwarf variety of Chinese elm mm -hmm. and there's many trees put together to give the illusion of a large forest and Ron brought a beautiful suiseki which looks very natural with this with the um, with forest with the forest right behind it tell us about the chrysanthemum okay the chrysanthemum it's a perennial they don't live too long but this one's been alive since 1950s it was taken as a cutting yeah it's got beautiful exposed roots and in autumn, it gets white, daisy-like flowers. And this one here on the table in okay, front of us. One on the table is a crab apple. Yeah. It's full of fruit, colorful. It was six feet tall before I started. Taller than me. And that's part of the art of it. And you said no one does it better than this guy. Ron. Well, Bill's really ranked, I would say, as the number one bonsai instructor outside of Japan. Yeah. He goes to China to teach the Chinese how to do Japanese bonsai style. And the Chinese were the ones that taught the Japanese, and now they got a Greek from Rot Henrietta <laughs> to come over there to teach their people how to do it. And they pay his way and everything and treat him very nicely. That's a Rochester story right there. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, uh, what all will people experience when they go to the exhibition? They'll see about 300 beautiful, high-quality bonsai like this, arranged nicely, and it's a whole indoor soccer field. Mm. The next indoor soccer field is filled with vendors. We have 50,000 square feet filled indoors on nice green carpet. And once you get in, there are eight lecture demonstrations free and also 16 critiques where some of the finest authorities on bonsai and stones in the country will take you around and comment on their trees and answer questions. Thank you guys for coming in. Good Thank luck you. this year. We know it's going to be a great time. Thank great you. Great opportunity, of course. Uh, Lots more information online, including how to get your tickets and when you want to arrive, usnationalbonsai.com. We're sharing that link on our site as well. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.